and welcome to another fabulous episode of Meals with Maria. Today I will be making three slow cooker ground beef recipes. I got a lot of ground beef in the freezer. What am I gonna do with it? Well, I like slow cooker meals because I'm a busy mom and like to get things done and I also like flavorful meals. And I find that if you can cook ground beef meals in the slow cooker, they turn out amazing, just like these. So I made a lasagna soup, which I've always wanted to make and it turned out so good. So I'm super impressed with myself down in the back. Very happy. I made a unstuffed or stuffed, I can't really figure that one out, cabbage soup. So it's like stuffed cabbage, but it's a soup. It was actually like a little thicker, almost like a casserole. Either way, it turned out amazing. I ended up using like a shredded coleslaw instead of a whole head of cabbage. It was a deal and it worked out great. Even my husband liked it, who, if you watched my last cabbage video, you know that he's like not a cabbage fan, but I've done twice now on two cabbage things. So I'm feeling kind of like a diva on the cabbage stuff. So if you're afraid of cooking cabbage, you don't think you like it, try this recipe, try my other recipe. I'll link that too, because it's awesome. And then you'll be a true believer. You can be a cabbage eater for life. And then I made barbecue meatballs in the crock pot. I mean, I kind of made the meatballs and then I put the sauce on in the crock pot. They're still really, really good. I 100% recommend them. I think that you could probably, we just ate them as like a side for um, a football appetizer, but you could definitely put them over rice or you could make like a meatball, barbecue meatball sandwich, maybe cook it up with some mozzarella cheese and that would be fabulous as well. So I had so much fun making all these. I hope these are a great inspiration for you. So let's get cooking. The first recipe is lasagna soup. Start off by browning one pound of ground beef, I'm using this awesome masher tool that is a fan favorite, so I will link that below for you. Then I'm draining off the grease. I'm using this really cool draining tool, which I will also link if you don't have one of those. In the next step, return the beef to the pan and cook it over medium heat with one diced onion and four grated cloves of garlic. I used a microplane to do this and it works awesome. You'll want to let it cook for about five to eight minutes until the onion is cooked through. Now the recipe calls for crushed tomatoes, but I only had whole canned, so I used 28 ounces of the San Marzano's as well as 14 ounces of my own canned tomatoes. And since I needed to mash the tomatoes up, I figure why not use my fun little masher thing again? And it worked just fine. Now I'm really not much for following recipes 100%, I just go with what I have. The recipe called for beef stock, which I did not have. So I'm adding six teaspoons of chicken bouillon, and then I'll be adding six cups of water to this dish. Honestly, I couldn't tell the difference. It tasted delicious and was not a problem at all. Then I'm adding one teaspoon of dried basil and one teaspoon of dried oregano and parsley. Once everything is mixed together, I cooked it on low for seven hours. After seven hours, I opened up the crock pot and broke in about 10 pieces of uncooked lasagna. At that point, I let it cook for 30 more minutes. You can see the uncooked lasagna right here. I just broke the full pieces into pieces, and then once it cooked for 30 minutes, it was perfectly cooked through, and it was delicious pasta. You can see how it changes here. This soup tasted just like lasagna. I served it with some whole milk ricotta, kind of dolloped on top, and it was incredible. Definitely would recommend with some garlic bread, and it's such a nice fall meal for your family. The next meal is the stuffed cabbage soup. 
I am just using this shredded cabbage that's really for coleslaw instead of a whole head of cabbage because honestly it was just cheaper and I didn't need a whole head, but you can use regular cabbage if you'd like. And then I'm using one pound of ground beef. Then the recipe calls for one pound of bacon and I happen to have a half a pound of regular bacon and a half a pound of turkey bacon in my fridge. And you guys know how I am, I'm not wasting anything, so this will do. Also called for one onion, and I had one where I had used very, barely any Worcestershire sauce and some chicken broth, and I'm just using my chicken bouillon because it's way less expensive. Then three quarters a cup of rice, as well as some diced tomatoes not shown here because I completely forgot that we needed those, but I do put them in later, don't you worry. This recipe does require a little bit of prep work before putting everything in the crock pot. All of the bacon needs to be cooked, so I'm cooking my regular bacon on the stove and my turkey bacon in the microwave. On the stove, it's just gonna cook over medium heat for about 10 minutes, and the turkey bacon is gonna cook in between two paper towels for four minutes. I just wanna get it all done as fast as possible and be as efficient as possible. Then I'm just gonna slice up my onion, and I will eventually cook my onion with my beef before I put it into the crock pot. So the recipe calls for five to six cups of beef broth and I'm substituting our chicken bouillon with water. I realized after that I had only made four cups and I needed five or six so I do add a little bit later. Not shown, I add in one 28 ounce can of diced tomatoes, two tablespoons of tomato paste, one teaspoon of paprika, one teaspoon of thyme, and one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire, we're not sure, no one's sure. Worcestershire isn't even sure. Just mix it all up and cook it for seven to eight hours on low or four to six on high. This is how it turns out. It's so amazing. That bacon makes this so incredible. It gives it this smoky flavor. I can't believe that I got my husband to eat it. I wouldn't tell him what it was called at first when he first took his first bites, but it turned out great and he is into the cabbage now. For our final recipe, I'm making barbecue meatballs. Honestly, you can just take frozen meatballs, make the sauce that I make, throw those into the slow cooker, and that's gonna make an amazing meal for you too. I just happened to have fresh ground beef on hand, so I had to make my own meatballs. This recipe is a little bit different, so it calls for one egg, one tablespoon of mustard, I use Dijon, a third a cup of breadcrumb, and the recipe calls for one minced shallot, which I did not have. I didn't even have regular onion at this point, so we went with red onion, which I've never used in a meatball before, but honestly, it turned out great. And then I'm just adding one teaspoon of parsley and one teaspoon of garlic powder to the meatballs and I will roll them up and cook them over medium heat on a skillet until they're cooked through. Then add them to the slow cooker and add our barbecue sauce, which is just one cup of your favorite barbecue sauce, one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, one teaspoon of smoked paprika and a half a teaspoon of salt. It tastes pretty barbecue-y. I mean, most of it is just the barbecue sauce, but the Worcestershire and the smoked paprika definitely give it that smoky flavor that makes it taste amazing.
amazing. That is all we're doing. All those amazing meals. They were so good. I hope that there's something that you can try in there and that you can enjoy it with your family. I know that we did. I will see you guys soon on Thursday. I am posting my Extreme Grocery Budget Challenge, which is a $30 at Aldi challenge for the family of four for seven days. It's turning out awesome. So I want you guys to be there. Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you have not already. If you like these slow cooker recipes and you want to see more, I will be linking my other slow cooker video below where I do three additional recipes. I am so thankful for you being here and I will see you guys soon. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.